outside of Brexit, which overshadows everything at the moment, yeah. what is your overriding policy priority? So there are two things. I think the way we do infrastructure in this country needs a radical look at. And now I think, my own view, and I've spoken about this and written about it, is that the problem with infrastructure, we've got the money, we could raise bonds uh, and we can, we can spend the money, but the projects, the actual projects, um, how we decide what to spend money on and the speed with which we act is, is, is a big problem. I mean, now, you know, people talk about Crossrail, that still hasn't been delivered yet. That's clearly a problem. The third runway at Heathrow, which is a big constituency interest of mine, has been debated for 15 years, 16 years. The government white paper was in 2003, and they just took it off the website last October, because I always used to go back to it. And then one day it was like, you know, your request has been rejected or something. <laughs> um, and, and I think we've got, a, we've got big issues about how, and I know Osborne set up the National Infrastructure um, body or whatever um the nia i think it's called but the but the um but i think we've got an issue with that and the other thing is innovation and skills in terms of not so much school leavers but the apprenticeship piece and sort of 16 to 19 further education i know we brought in t levels mm -hmm. but i think the way in which the workplace operates um our education system it, it isn't catching up quickly enough with with mm -hmm. how it work is, is evolving so those are the two interests, those are my two big interests in terms of driving growth and productivity. I think we've got to look at training, education and infrastructure.